Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with the free pick in the Rockies versus Padres Major League Baseball matchup on Friday, August 16th, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at PickDogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. You just go to PickDogs.com and click on that premium picks tab. Of course, I've also got a link directly below this video in the description. Make it nice and easy for you to get there to PickDogs.com premium area. If you make bigger bets, you bet like a thousand or more per game, and uh, you know you have like a bankroll of ten thousand dollars or more. All you gotta do is text the number you see on the screen to find out about our VIP packages. These aren't for everyone; they're meant for people that make really big bets. It's not a free pick line or free trial, but if it is for you, like I said, text the number. If not, check out our regular premium picks. I bet mine every day. But let's go to Colorado, where the Rockies are taking on the Padres. What an interesting game this is because the Rockies, when they travel back home after a road trip, they are straight money. And the San Diego Padres, they are straight money this season. You know, back at, you know, when the Padres traded for Arise from the Miami Marlins, you know, I said on the live show that day of that, the San Diego Padres are my pick from the National League to make it to the World Series. And while there is a lot of wood to chop between now and then, I mean, let's face it, they're not even in first place in their division. Um, they're battling it out with the Diamondbacks, who went to the World Series last year. The Brewers also look pretty good in, in, in the Central. Um, you know, the, the Phillies, of course, <laughs> were in the World Series two years ago. There's a lot of wood to chop there in the National League. But the thing is, is that the Padres are right in the mix, and they certainly have performed as I thought they would because, you know, partly because of that Arise trade where you have a guy who now really can set the table for all those big bats that are behind him. And then, of course, the the pitching staff at that time was really banged up. And now what you see is, you know, they have done exactly what I, what I expected they would do, tighten up that pitching staff on the front end. And now on the back end, Musgrove coming back into action. And of course, you Darvish, uh, he still isn't, you know, I haven't heard that he's that he's absolutely done for the season. So if Darvish can get back in there, imagine what a five-man rotation this Padres team is going to have. The Colorado Rockies go with Quantrill in this game, and I thought Quantrill was going to get traded at the trade deadline. Apparently, you know, they didn't get what they were looking for or they didn't have the... Uh, they didn't have the interest that I thought that they would get. But Quantrill is one of these guys. His ERA is in the fours, but um, what we've seen from him is that... Uh, is, is that, um, you know, he, he pitches in Colorado, right? So that four ERA that he has is really not nearly as bad as what it looks like, you know, when you look at just a pure number. So, you know, Quantrill has been pretty effective overall this season. His last time out, he did face the Padres. That was back on August 4th. So he has missed a couple starts. He allowed three runs in that one in a game that the Rockies got absolutely bludgeoned against uh, against the Padres. It didn't matter what Quantrill did in that one. But for the season, he has a 4.56 ERA. He's allowed 17 home runs and 48 walks. A lot of these numbers, though, are in the back end. Um, over his last three starts, it's the 7.71 ERA. When we look at the other side of the equation, it's Matt Waldron on the mound for the Padres. He's done a nice job. I don't know if he's you know a postseason starter type guy for them. They certainly have a lot of other options. Um, with the Padres, but last time out, Waldron gave up five runs against the Marlins. In one of those games against the Marlins, it was, remember how high scoring they were, and then the Padres came back late in every one of those games. For the season, you know, Waldron comes in with a 4.0 ERA. He has allowed 16 home runs. He's walked 38 batters, struck out 121, logging 132 in two-thirds innings of work. Over his last three starts, though, he has been hit 7.07 ERA, which makes this one very, very interesting. You know, we know that the, the Rockies, when they get home, they are really, really tough. And these are some of those games where I can see the guys on Ron Romanelli's videos, right? Ron, who, one of our Pick Dogs family, who's just awesome at this sort of stuff and really has dialed in with the numbers. But what you'll see in these in the comments is, how did the Rockies do this? And how this all the Padres, on, they're going on my do not bet list. None of those things are really the case. It's just the Rockies, when they get back home in these spots, are just always really good. Because you look at the Rockies, the way they're hitting recently, 260, 288 for the Padres over the last 10 games. You dial it in over the last five, and it, both of them are actually hitting the cover off the ball with the Rockies at 282 and the Padres at 268. You know, there's nothing more that, of a square public bet than a Coors Field over. I guess I'm a public square for this particular game. I'm going to take the over in the Padres uh, Rockies, and that's going to be my free pick.
Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.